Hey YouTube, it is Jack again with Toy Dojo, and today we're taking a look at the X Factory Gladiator. Uh, as you can see in front of me, there are three of them. When you order them, uh, I think they're going to be sold individually and not as a set. But I'm taking a look at them as a set. They came to me that way. And uh, these are early pre-production samples of these figures. Uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of a backstory of what these figures are, uh, if you're not familiar with it, if we go back to the G1 cartoon, uh, the specific episode was the Keter Vector Sigma, or the episode where Megatron comes up with the Stunticons. So he comes up with the Stunticons because he's tired of losing the Autobots, and he's like, I need something that I can use ground uh, robots. And so he has Rumble go out and steal all these cars, and then he puts them together as Stunticons, but uh, they don't have Cybertronian, um, what is it called, like, mindsets, if you will. So he's like, the only way to get that is to go to Cybertron and go to Vector Sigma. So he gets up to Cybertron, talks to Shockwave, tells Shockwave, Shockwave's like, well, the only way in there is you got to get the key to Vector Sigma, and Alpha Trion has it. So they go out of Alpha Trion's place, rough him up, get the key to Vector Sigma, as they're going down to Vector Sigma, they run into these guys and a horde of them. They start coming, Rumble, uh, Ravage, Soundwave. They all start to try to fight these guys, but they have no luck in doing it at all. They are shooting them, shooting them, and uh, these guys are just there. They're, everything they're shooting is bouncing off their bodies. So normally in the cartoon, they didn't have any guns like are coming with this here. They were just really uh, fighters. And so anyways... He gives, he pulls out the, a Megatron pulls out the key to Vector Sigma, and he's like, since uh, this controls Vector Sigma and they're supposed to be guarding Vector Sigma, I can now control them. So he basically says to them, hey, I want you to go and fight the Autobots. They are our enemies. Go to the surface and fight them. So he goes off to Vector Sigma, gets the um, personalities for the Stunticons, and Optimus Prime with, uh, I think it's Ratchet, Wheeljack, um, Alpha Trion, I believe it's Hoist, and uh, I think, I can't remember if Ironhead was there or not, but they come across these guys, and they all get into this fight. The Autobots know at some point it's a losing battle, because um, Alpha Trion tells them that, and so they back off, and they get these, like, uh, just droid robots, and these here are actually called... Uh, Centurion droids is what uh, Megatron calls them when he first comes up to them. And so anyway, so they go back, they find these old robots that were like uh, workers, and that's the Autobots, find these old like worker robots. And they fix them just to go out there and just to like basically um, mess with these guys, knowing that they would lose, uh, knowing that these guys would, would beat those little uh, deals they put together. But they thought, hey, you know what, we're going to go ahead and have them go out there to distract them so we can get past them. So sure enough, they distract them, and uh, those droids, other droid workers, just start like walking off this cliff, basically, and these guys follow them and end up going down into it, and that's how they get rid of them. So that's the first time we see them. The second time we see them is in the Headmaster series, and I want to say it's episode two, and I don't remember the name of the episode, but uh, Prime's going back down to Vector Sigma, and he comes across them again, and this time he like bowls through all of them, so uh, just goes to show what a few years does you know, with that. So anyways, that's just a little bit of backstory with these guys here. Um, so X-Factory uh, went ahead and made these here. And like I said, they are an early pre-production sample. Um, one thing about them, they do not transform at all. Basically right here, what you see is what you're going to get. So just taking a look at them. Um, this is the way they looked in the G1 cartoon. And so they're just big green uh, robots. Basically that's it. So let's kind of go over articulation. The head itself does not rotate at all. The arms go up, and you can tell it's really loose, so that's how I know these are an early pre-production pre sample. But the arms go up like that. It does rotate 360 degrees like so. It's got an upper bicep swivel right there. Right here it does bend at the elbow. And the wrists do rotate right here. The fingers themselves, the thumb here is on a ball joint. We see that. Each finger is individually articulated on its own. Uh, the pointer finger is, is done in two spots, right here at the, this piece and then that piece there. The rest of them are just one, and they're just kind of like that curved uh, one we've seen over and over with figures. They do have a waist rotation as well. 
Uh, down to the legs. Let's get that up. Down to the legs. It goes out on a soft ratchet that way. Comes forward. Now you have to lift the hip skirt up in order for it to come forward. But you can come forward with that. Just like that. Going backwards, they really don't go backwards all that well because of the butt flap, if you will. And that doesn't move. So the knee has a nice clickety ratchet there on that knee. And then the foot does tilt back and forth like that. And I mean, just very little side to side action there. So that's that. They do have a lot of nice sculpting on them. If we look at that, we saw these line panels through there. Um, I think in the cartoon that was like a yellowish orange color, I believe, that little centerpiece there. So we'll see if they add some paint to that uh, when they finish these guys up. But a lot of nice um, detailing there as far as that goes. You can see just a lot of little drawings on them. So they do look nice uh, themselves. That's the bottom of the feet right there. And that's the back of them. Again, there's some more detailing uh, done on that. You can obviously see all the screw holes there where the screws are on that. So, uh, I don't know. Is that going to be something for you? Um, you know, I guess we'll wait and see. I think it would be cool, though, to have these guys and then have the uh, Vector Sigma ball uh, with the key to Vector Sigma and having them guard that, you know, just as a display. So, I think that'd be cool. Uh, taking a look at the gun here. And that went out of focus there. There we go. Taking a look at the gun right there. It's a nice gun. Uh, it's just, all again, all green like they are. And so... You know, it's just a, it's a gun, basically. But like I said, in the cartoon, they didn't have any weapons. And again, pre-production sample, these should be glued together, I'm sure, at some point. So that's basically, you know, it as far as articulation, all that kind of stuff with these guys. So what I'll do is I'll pull in some of the guys that were in that episode with them. Just to kind of show you height comparisons with them. There's a MP10 with them right here. So just to show you how... They scale with MP10. Let me move this back a little bit right there. Uh, I'm going to bring in Wheeljack. So you can show how MP Wheeljack scales with them. And then Ratchet as well. So we can see how Ratchet scales with them as well. Let's get Prime over a little bit. And just pull Ratchet in right there. So just kind of show you with the size of them. I believe they're supposed to be like eight or nine inches tall. So um, I, I, there's really nothing more I can say about them. And we showed them off. It's just a quick little video. Uh, like I said, they do not transform. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can um, pre-order these if you'd like to get one of these or two or three or 50. Um, it's up to you. But I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can order them. Uh, let me know what you think. Please comment, like, subscribe. And as always, until next time, stay safe.